Alright guys, so if you're troubleshooting your internet connectivity, if you don't have internet and you get this little um you get this little message here with a little warning sign on your internet, first thing you gotta do is check the physical. We're gonna go ahead and check the cable. Alright guys, so troubleshooting our internet connection, we're gonna test our cable and to do this we're gonna need an RJ forty five cable tester. You can get this on eBay and it'll come with a pouch like this and instructional manuals. You can get it in the following link and screenshot. So you can get it from eBay, okay? So the way you test it is you get one end and you put it on this guy. Actually that's RJ11. and you get the other end and you put it on the other guy you notice it's RJ45 and RJ11 and there we go and then uh, actually this takes a battery takes a, takes a 9 volt battery so make sure you get a battery for it too once you get it, it does not come with the battery included so make sure you get a battery for it and all you do is turn it on. So right now it's been testing it. And it's going through all the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the cable's good. The cable's good. If the cable's, if uh, one of those numbers is not coming up, if it stops like at 5 or 7 or even stops at 3, wherever it stops at, it means the cable's bad and that's your problem. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. If your cable is good, then the next step is going to be this. So our next step for internet troubleshooting will be to check our um, our IP address. And uh, don't mind the internet connection I have right now. Uh, yours is going to say you don't have internet because you're the one that's troubleshooting. Okay. So what you do is you go to Start Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings. If you have a VM where you're going to see these, just ignore those. This is the one. This is the one you use. It's going to have an X for now, or probably a little warning sign because you don't have internet. Right click it, click properties, click on version 4 first, right here. Internet protocol version 4. We're going to check both version 4 and version 6. So hit, click properties. Make sure it says automatically. If it doesn't, if there's a says use the following DNS and it has some weird numbers there, it means you have a virus, okay? So after you change this, make sure you do a virus scan. Or it could be that uh, somebody has set this up. I'm talking about somebody that has a personal computer here. If you're at like a business or something, uh, the DNS server is probably going to set here. But uh, regular people out there with PCs, it's going to be here automatically, okay? So make sure it says automatically. Click OK. Let's check version 6. It says automatically. Okay, so that's good. So if it says automatic and you still don't have internet connection, or if that fixed the problem, then there you go. If not, then uh, let's go to the command prompt. Go to start and type in CMD. Hit enter. So here we're going to release the IP address and renew it. Okay, so type in IP config space, I believe it was forward slash release. should be releasing it's probably gonna take a while and there we go released or it says media disconnected oh there we go it released it if you notice right here there's a warning sign now it means it released it so so now um, hit the up arrow and you'll get back to where, what you were doing Go back and type and uh, type in renew. ipconfig space forward slash renew. Hit enter, and it's going to renew the IP address. So basically, what you're doing is you're resetting the IP address. And there we go. We got internet connection here again. If you still don't have internet connection, 
the next thing to do is to reset your router so go to your router and disconnect it for like 10 20 seconds and then connect it back up the power I'm talking about the power here disconnect the power for 10 20 seconds connect the power back up and uh, wait for wait to see if you can see internet if that doesn't resolve your problem then it's probably because you have a virus or probably because it's got something to do with your service at this point I would call my uh, my IP my I would call my internet service provider at this time if that still doesn't work okay so hopefully this has helped you guys and um, have a good day